What's up, family? Man, I bless each and every one of you. May God continue to bless you. May God continue to guide you, comfort you, and aid you in your growth and development. Family, man, we have to grow up. We have to grow up. There's no if, ands, buts about it. And I know that's not easy. I know that's not something everybody wants to do. But it is what it is. You know what I mean? Yesterday, I was on the train. And um, I saw this young lady with a purse that said, speak life. I like what it said initially, and didn't think nothing else about it, totally forgot about it actually. Came home and last night I was in meditation and God brought that back to my remembrance, speak life, speak life. And so many people nowadays because of, again, the cliches and the spiritual movement, we're always talking about speaking life, speaking life, speaking life. But what the great majority of us don't really talk about is what are we speaking life into? You know what I mean? Stay with me, we're going somewhere. So many people talk about, man, I'm speaking life. I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. I'm gonna speak this, I'm gonna speak this, I'm gonna speak this. But the great majority of us, if the truth be told, we speak life into negativity. We speak life into drama, into bullshit, into chaos. We speak life into our financial debt. We speak life into our sicknesses and our illnesses, our diseases. We speak life into our ignorance, into our misunderstanding. We speak life into the chaos of the politics. We speak life into the chaos of religion. We speak in life into all this negative, toxic shit. And never really understanding that, man, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. How am I using my power? How am I using my energy? Why am I speaking life into this drama and this bullshit? When I could be speaking life into my growth and development. When I could be speaking life and to people maturing and people growing up and people healing. Why am I speaking life into all this shit over here? That ain't really about anything. As opposed to taking that energy, that power. See, we wanna talk about speaking life into Money, you know what I mean? Man, I want money, I want money. I'm... But we won't speak life into that area of our life that keeps us off of that frequency of receiving money. So you got to catch this. You got to understand this. We speak life into material shit. We try to speak life into material shit. But you can't speak life into that until you speak life into you. You got to understand this. You can't speak life into abundance. And yet you're not speaking life into the things that got you stopped and blocked up. You know what I mean? There's something about you that's blocking you from receiving the abundance that you want. There's something about you that's blocking you. That's stopping you. From having the peace, the joy, the happiness that's stopping you from having the relationships of your dreams. That's stopping you from having the career of your dreams. That's stopping you from having the joy and the peace and the happiness that you really want. There's something within you. That's not external. That's not something that somebody's doing to you. There's a blockage within you that's keeping these things at bay. So a guy that had to show me was Elijah. You got to learn how to speak life into you. There's something there that's blocking you, that's stopping you from having the peace and the joy and the happiness. There's something there that's preventing you from being able to move on. There's something there that's preventing you from having physical health. There's something there that's blocking you from having the abundance, 
financial abundance, or whatever it is. There's something there that's blocking you from having the relationships that you desire. Light. You can't speak life into these things right here without speaking life into you first. See, once you speak life into you and you deal with the shit and do the work, now you can get on the right frequency to attract the things that you desire. It ain't about just speaking life. Speaking life is great. You got to speak life. But in the process of speaking life, you have to do the motherfucking work. In the process of speaking life, of trying to manifest these things, you've got to get yourself on the right frequency to be able to attract these things. You got to understand that. People don't want to talk about that. People want to just talk about, man, I'm manifesting, I'm manifesting, I'm manifesting, I'm manifesting, I'm manifesting. You ain't manifesting a damn thing except for the same fucking drama and the chaos you've been going through. You ain't manifesting a damn thing except for the same fucking pain and trauma you've experienced. You ain't ex manifesting a damn thing except for some more of the same chaotic, emotional fuck the frequencies that you vibrate on. This is real shit. This is real shit. We got to grow the fuck up. You yak, 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 all you fucking want to. Yak, 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 ain't going to change your motherfucking life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ain't gonna change your fucking finances. All these broke ass motherfuckers running around tomorrow. Man, I want money. I want this. I want this. And they ain't got it. They ain't gonna get it. You could do all the fucking talking you want to, but until you put some motherfucking work in behind it, and I'm not talking about just going to get a fucking nine to five job. I'm not talking about just going out on the fucking street and hustling and been grinding. There's a whole lot of motherfuckers out on the block every fucking day. Grinding. There's a whole lot of motherfuckers out on the block. Hustling. They're not changing their fucking life. They're not manifesting wealth and abundance in their life. Because you're out there fucking grinding. Because you're out there fucking hustling. Because you're out there working a fucking nine to five. We got to grow the fuck up. The only way to change that is to change what's inside of you. That's preventing you from getting on that frequency of being able to have those things. And see, when we're talking about doing shadow work, when I talk about diving deep into the subconscious thoughts of your fears and insecurities and your issues. See, this is the shit that I'm talking about. You got to understand who the fuck you are and why the fuck you are the way that you are. See, know thyself and the great majority of us, we have no fucking clue of who we really are. We know the superficial shit, but we don't really know who the fuck we are. We don't really know why the fuck we are the way we are. We just think I'm this way because this motherfucker broke my heart. I'm this way because these people keep cheating on me. These motherfuckers, man, they make me defensive. They make me hate guys. They hate made me hate women because I was molested, because I was raped, that I was abandoned and rejected, I was beaten and da da da. We have all these fucking excuses as to why we are the way we are. No, motherfucker, you are the way you are because you choose to be that way. You choose and you have chosen to be that way. Every day that you don't get up and don't decide or don't put in the efforts to change who the fuck you are, you're choosing by default to be that way. I'm going to say it again. If you don't get up and intentionally, intentionally, with purpose, with passion, 
with drive. If you don't get up and intentionally decide and make up your mind, that I'm, I'm going to change who I am. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to respond this way anymore. I don't want to act like this anymore. I don't want to be defensive anymore. I don't want to be angry anymore. I don't want to be hateful anymore. I don't want to be jealous anymore. I don't want to be racist or homophobic anymore. I don't want to be insecure anymore. I don't want to walk and live in fear anymore. If you don't get the fuck up and grow the fuck up and intentionally change your thought process, you're going to stay on that fucking pattern. You're going to stay on that fucking frequency. And at the end of your fucking life, it's you are who you are because you've chosen to be who you are. You've chosen that. Every fucking day, you didn't get up and decide, man, now. Nah, I got to work on this. I got to work on this. I got to change this. I don't like this about me. I don't like being defensive like this. I don't like having a short fuse like this. I don't like this. I don't want this. I need to change this. I'm gonna change this. And understand why you are the way that you are. You're gonna stay in that fucking pattern. You're gonna stay on that fucking frequency. You can sing all the fucking kumbaya songs you want to. You can pray all the fuck you want to. You can fast all the fuck you want to. You can read all the fucking scriptures you want to. You can speak this shit all you want to. You can speak wealth and peace and joy all the fuck you want to. You can write this shit down and post it all over your fucking house. You can have all the great sayings and quotes all over your fucking house. But until you do the motherfucking work, ain't a damn thing on fucking change. We've got to grow the fuck up. we got to grow the fuck up. Stop playing these little bullshit games that keep getting you fucking distracted. That keep getting you frustrated. Oh, this shit don't work. I've been doing this for five minutes and it ain't changed shit. I've been doing this for five days and ain't nothing changed. I've been doing this for a week and ain't nothing changed. Because you ain't fucking changed. See, here's the trip. You could say some shit long enough to convince yourself that you fucking changed. You could say some shit long enough to sweep the other shit up under the fucking rug. And act like that shit ain't there. You could walk around, I'm loving, I'm peaceful, I'm caring, I'm nurturing. You could walk around saying all this shit you fucking want to. You could say that shit 40,000 fucking times a day, seven days a week. And guess what? You'll deceive your motherfucking self into believing you've changed. You'll deceive yourself into thinking that, man, I've gotten rid of all that shit. I've changed all that shit. When the truth is you ain't changed a motherfucking thing. You just deceived yourself into thinking you've grown when you ain't really fucking grown. You just deceived yourself into thinking, oh, I'm not as hateful no more. I'm not as angry no more. I'm not as jealous no more. I'm not as bitter no more. And you convince yourself of that shit. Motherfuckers convince themselves that they're right all the time. Motherfuckers convince themselves that they're justified in what they do all the fucking time. And that's all you've done. That's all you've done. You've lied to yourself. You've lied to yourself. You bullshitted yourself. It is what it is. We gotta grow the fuck up. We gotta grow up. So what are you speaking life into? 
Are you really speaking life into you? Are you really speaking life into that damaged and broken aspect of you? Are you speaking life into that hurt aspect of you? Are you speaking life into that traumatized kid within you? Are you speaking life into those areas of your life that have been damaged and fucked over and are full of negativity and fear and insecurity? Are you speaking life into those areas that you don't like talking about? Are you speaking life into those areas that's blocking you from peace and joy and happiness? Are you speaking life into those areas that's blocking you from having the abundance that you desire? Are you speaking life into those areas? Or are you just talking? The great majority of them, we're just talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just quoting some religious shit. We just regurgitating some great quotes that we've heard. Some deep and profound sayings. We're just saying some shit. Because we like the way it sounds. We like what it says. But it ain't changing your frequency. It ain't changing your vibration. Because nothing externally can change your vibration or your frequency. That has to come from within. That has to come from you. Grow the fuck up and understand this. You have to be the change. And that change has to come from within you. Yes, some people, you have life coaches and mentors and something, there's a quote or whatever it is that says something and, and then resonates with your spirit. And it's like, oh, God. Man, I feel this. I feel this. I feel this. Okay, what is it about this that I feel? And so as you're sitting there, you're thinking about that quote or that, that life coach or that mentor or saying some shit that's hitting at the core of your fear and your hatred and your jealousy and your low self-esteem and all this other shit. And as they're speaking to you, it's like, oh, that resonates. Oh, oh it's like body blows. It's like, oh, oh, you, you fucking me up. Oh, 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 you know what I mean? And the reason why is because your spirit is saying, yes, 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 yes. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's the shit you need to focus on. That's the shit you need to concentrate on. That's the shit you need to look at. That's the shit you need to lift up and sweep out. That's the shit you need to clean the fucking windows. That's the shit you need to wash the blinds. That's the shit. Take those motherfucking raggedy, dirty ass fucking curtains down and wash that shit. That's it. Change those motherfucking sheets. That's it. Get rid of that grimy ass fucking pillow. That's it. That's it. That's the shit we need to focus on. So as your life coach and your mentor and these quotes are saying these things to you and you start looking at you and you're like, oh shit, damn, fuck. These motherfuckers don't turn the light on. Now I see me for who I am. Damn. That's the shit right there. That's the shit that's had me fucked up. That's the shit that's keeping me from the, the queen of my life. That's the shit that's keeping me from the king that I want. That's the shit that's keeping the abundance from flowing in. That's it. That's it. See, religious folk have had us fucked up for the longest time. And spiritual people too. Oh, give, give, give. And yes, you got to give. But see, they told us to give your tithes and your offering, give your money, da, da, da. And God's going to open up the windows of heaven and pour out all these blessings, da, da, da. You won't have room to receive. And there's so many motherfuckers that have given and 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 got shit back. They've given and 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 given all they had, given everything, 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 everything. And ain't got shit to show for it. They've never gotten the windows of heaven to open up and pour out on them. 
And there's so many people get so frustrated. It's like, damn, I've given it, I've given it, I've given it. And the pastor is rolling around in a motherfucking Bentley. The pastor got a fucking $5 million fucking jet. The pastor's always on fucking vacations. The pastor's living in a $15 million fucking mansion. The pastor is da -da -da -da. the pastor. And you looking at these motherfuckers getting shit. And you're the one fucking giving and giving and giving and giving and giving and giving and giving. And you're pinching your fucking pennies. And you're robbing Peter Pay Paul. And you can't pay this bill because you got to pay this bill. And you can't pay this bill because you got to buy some fucking food. And that's your fucking life. And that's your life because that's the frequency you're on. That's the vibration that you dwell on. There's something within you. It's easy for us to get mad at the pastors. It's easy for us to get mad at the bishops and all these religious folk who've gotten be beyond our wildest imaginations. They sit on toilets made of fucking gold. Their toilets are worth more than your fucking place. Their toilets are worth more than the fucking shit you have. Their toilets are worth more than your fucking car. And you can't understand how these motherfuckers get so much and you got so fucking little. And you've done everything the Bible said. Give, 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 give. But what you've never done was get on the right vibration. What you've never done is release whatever it is within you that's blocking you from being able to receive. That's the secret nobody wants to tell you about. They want to tell you to keep giving because they keep getting. Yes, have a giving spirit. I believe in that. But in order to receive these things, you got to be on the right vibration. You hear me say all the time, you reap what you sow. But you got to be on the right frequency to reap it. See, we reap the negativity and the drama and the bullshit because that's the vibration we're on. Catch that. And so our hands are open wide for the bullshit. Because that's the frequency we, we dwell on. But when it comes to abundance, when it comes to love, we got something within us. It's like, ah, uh, nah, motherfucker, nah, 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 nah. We push that shit away. When it comes to peace, when it comes to joy, we, uh, we push it away. Because there's a blockage within us that keeps that away, but allows in the drama, the pain, the suffering, the bullshit. You gotta grow the fuck up. I hope and pray that I said something to encourage you, to inspire you, to even challenge your way of thinking. I love you guys. Thank you for rocking out with me. Namaste. The God in me, the light in me, the love in me, the wisdom in me sees, recognizes, acknowledges, and cherishes the God, the love, the light, and the wisdom within each and every one of you. Happy healing. Peace.